Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to City Skylines. Now in the last episode, I did a district overhaul in our suburbs, cleaning up the borders of the districts and making some brand new ones. Then, I placed a series of bus routes around each district and interlinked them all. We then added more hotels, more metro stops, and developed an all-new water treatment facility near our oil industry, as well as many other minor things, updating the park, adding in fire helicopters, all sorts of little things. We've been busy. Lots of different little projects are on the go, and today the plan is to add a brand new one. In the form of transportation in our downtown area, we're going to be adding trams. Let's begin. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the sprawling City of Swords. Now, before we get to actually designing this tram system here in our downtown area, I was thinking first we could quickly check our portfolio and manage our investments over on the stonk market. And I think I'll actually do this going forward in a lot of episodes because it's fun to check in on it every now and then. And it's tough to get a reminder of when you should. Every now and then Chirper kind of lets you know when something's kind of crashing. But other than that, it's probably good just to check in every hour or so here at the beginning of episodes. So the very legit company we bought in low. We've made a little bit of a profit and we have a current, a pretty fair investment of 92,000 already. So I'm going to sell this and extract because I already had a quick look. So we're just getting 113,000 back. Boom. Now we've got 289,000 and I was thinking of going in on greasy gasoline because it looks like we're buying at a bit of a dip here, which excites me. That potential high, I, I want to get back up to that spot if we can. Now, you might be thinking, hey, Darren, aren't you just about to invest in a public transport solution to having to drive cars? That's neither here nor there. Don't be worrying about that. It's a good time to buy. Trust me. Now, the real logic behind it is that I think as more and more people fill into our city overall, there's going to be more cars on the road and people are going to be using more and more gasoline. So I think it's good to invest now, especially since the value of this potential uh, industry here is really, really high. You know, it's already 3,000 for a single share. So you're spending a lot of money compared to what we had just done, which was we we're buying shares that were only like 100 or so. Now, actually, our farming industry is pretty good, but that's that vacillates so wildly. I feel like we should just leave until we're guaranteed profit. But let's go in on greasy gasoline. Not going to go crazy. We need some of this money so we can actually build the public transport or alternatives. But maybe a solid 50 shares. I think it's reasonable to get get us started see how it goes 155k and we're in so i'll try to pay attention to chirper where we can to see what's going on with that now before we again build onto this network we'll just quickly establish how things are going um so i wanted to just what was i going to do oh yeah i wanted to just quickly recap on one piece of feedback from previous episodes as well which was leisure and parks people have been saying they want me to build more parks and put more parks in different areas and stuff like that. There's actually quite a few. We're not really lacking for parks. I'd say obviously in this red band here we are, but generally speaking, there are parks in a lot of places. So that's just a piece of consistent feedback I see where I feel like most of our residential areas are covered in parks. And this, the reason that this doesn't have one is because this little bean shape area here is supposed to be another custom park. I just need a bit of time to do it. I've been thinking about maybe doing a stream just once and that could be a focus on just doing beautification stuff rather than actually putting down new services or buildings. So I might do that uh, just like a one off every now and then where we actually just slow down, focus on some of the details. Whereas in the main series here, I just like to keep the ball rolling, get more people in, build new services, expand all the time, that kind of thing. So um, yeah, let me know what you think of that. All right, so let's take another little quick sit rep of the current situation. So traffic flow is actually at 84%, pretty good. Our hot spots or our hottest spots tend to be the roundabouts where a lot of traffic is obviously coming in from the highway. And I've noticed it's getting more and more backed up from that entry point. This is our entry point, And unfortunately, it's really out of my hands what goes on on this side of the border. There's just not much I can do until we expand to this tile, which isn't going to be, I don't think, until we get... Not 20,000, but 32,000. That's an ex feels like that's kind of an extreme amount. But then we get this. I have big access to the highway then. We can develop our new our own highway system properly that maybe like comes up this way and even feeds into the town somewhat. We'll have to think about how we're going to do that. And then obviously we have more direct access to this train line here, which could be good for, again, breaking it off, having this big central hub area where people can maybe get the train out also or in depending on how you think about it. All right, so I thought I would just mention that. So that's kind of the most obvious stuff. I'll keep the city vitals on up here. So average health, oh, it has to be refreshed. Just one second. Toggle that on and then just toggle it off. And then we can see employment percentage. That's the other thing I've been keeping an eye on. We're getting good. We're, it's gone below 10% again uh, for unemployment. So looking pretty good. We want to bring that all the way down to five if we can manage it uh, by fulfilling offices and low education services and things like that and jobs and stuff. All right, so 
uh, the only other thing was that there is a hot spot of traffic here. So we had just set up one of the timed traffic lights here just to kind of let it sort itself out. It didn't, long story short. So we're going to be trying to solve that ourselves. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with the overall traffic flow of the city. And uh, I might do a little bit of cleaning up on this metro line because it looks a little weird the way it curves. Not that it really matters, but that's just one of the things I want to do. And also, I was just monitoring the bus situation. Buses seem to be doing quite well. Um, lots of people using them. Seems to be a lot of people taking them, freeing up traffic, but there are actually no buses up in this area. So I want to combine it, buses and metros together, but that'll be, we'll get to that. So let's just begin. All right. So if we have a look at this road here, the central arterial road that runs straight through our downtown area and obviously separates into like a band going around this way and then another band going, uh, sorry, going around this way. We've got these baked in bus lines with four lanes for traffic in the middle and then we have these side lanes which are actually for parking. So I was having a look at what roads we could do to set up the tram. So if we go to large roads and we scroll along, I actually found a road that seems amazing. It's a six lane road with tram tracks, bus lanes and bicycle lanes all baked into it. And it's the same size as the road we're currently using. So nothing really has to change for us. It's almost like we're just laying out tram tracks on the bus lanes and then instead of people being able to park we're opening up a bike lane so i couldn't find anything that just added the trams and left it open so we're going to go with the bike lane seeing as we've been encouraging biking anyway it seems to make sense so that's what we're going to go with so let's start so select the six lane road with tram tracks bus and bicycle lanes upgrade tool and we're just going to upgrade this all the way around and i just want to be very careful to avoid hitting the side roads there because they can destroy the houses which will kill my population. So this is actually just a normal arterial road, the four lane road with a median in, the, in between. I'm gonna now update this and upgrade it to continue the tram tracks all the way around. And you can see it's actually demonstrably breaking the zoning that we have there. Let's just see if I can upgrade that. Keep those houses the way they are. That'd be nice. Yeah. All right, just gotta be careful with that because sometimes I need to turn on the zoning, other times I need to turn it off depending on if I've built onto it or not. Anarchy, this one. All right, just continue it all the way around. So you can see all the cars are being removed. No one's allowed to park here. We're going to take a harsh left turn. I might continue this on up and over eventually, but just for now, just we'll just leave it. I don't plan on building a route out this way just yet. We do have very small nodes here sometimes. Can we get rid of that node? There we go. Did it just create one down here? Kind of confused what just happened. <laughs> so that... That's a node, but it's just like a random... Oh, I think I know. Let's collect, select this, select this, click, and just make it a middle. There we go. It just joins them. So I'm happy to obviously have a node in there, but just doesn't need to be like that. All right, let's go back. Keep the upgrade on. Boom. All right. We are now hooked up. So that's one little loop going around this way, and then it's continuing up here. So we need to continue the loop around. Ah, I just realized something. I just destroyed all the zoning here, so sorry about this. Uh, back you go, back you go. Now that is, is that housing? It is, yeah, we changed it from commercial to housing not that long ago, so just paint back in. They should be fine. Just make sure, high density residential. So they're all good. Is everyone else okay? I think so, I hope so. Ah, maybe not here? Yep. Let's just get them back as well, just to be safe. As long as we fill it in before time plays, I think we're okay. I think so. Uh, maybe this could get rid of the zoning. God, this is tedious. There we go. Fixed. This one as well, I suppose. Right, so those houses should stay intact now, and we didn't hopefully muck up the road any, in, any, any further. All right, so we'll continue our upgrade here. So again, I don't know if they're zoned onto this edge or if they're zoned onto... I assume they are, so we'll just turn the zoning back on. Continue our road up as we go. All right, and then we'll wrap this around as well. Okay, so we're all connected. Now, like I said, we'll probably extend the lines out this way. I'm not going to do it right now. We'll get to it, okay? We'll get to it. For the sake of time, 
let's just do something other than upgrade roads for a moment. Uh, so I was thinking that we could build the tram service somewhere out here. So if we have a look at the actual building for it, is this it? Trams, and then it's a fairly big building. And it will connect straight on, actually. But I'd like to kind of maybe build it in and off the road. That could maybe look cooler. Maybe? Let's turn off Anarchy for a second. Ooh, yeah, it says space already occupied. There is okay. But here it's just a bit too close to the road. Um, hmm. You know what? I guess we'll just slam it down. If I need to move it further in later and give it a bespoke road, I'll do that. I was kind of thinking we could use a smaller road with a tram track that just goes in and then turn this to face a different direction. I might do that in future, but maybe that's one for either, like I said, a stream or a time lapse or something, because it'll be kind of finicky. I feel like it'll take a little time to get it just right. Now, I wonder, can you move this? Oh, you can, but it comes with the road. That's interesting. And then we could tilt it, slam it right next to the edge there. Let's see how we're looking for zoning and stuff. That's okay. I think the building will work just fine. All right, we can maybe shape this ever so slightly, just a bit better. Yeah, just a little bit. Very close to this junction, I guess, but whatever. And then, mm, yeah, I guess we'll leave it. Okay, cool. So we've got our tram depot in, in place. I didn't even really read about it. Normally like to do that. It sends out trams to li uh, two lines automatically when it's connected to a tram line. Trams return to the depot after finishing their shift. It's 768 upkeep. It costs us 40,000 to put down initially. We've got 90 grand left and it adds a bit of noise pollution, which is why I wanted to, whoops, sorry, uh, send it a little bit further out. It's near that fire helicopter depot that we just built as well. So we could maybe consolidate this place into a bit more of an industrial area or service area, I should say, excuse me. And maybe that would be wise. Okay, so let's build our first tram line. Let's get going. So we'll start. A good spot is obviously, here's our metro and our intercity bus terminal. Now there's actually a building that lets you hybrid. I think the bus station, the metro, and something like a tram terminal all together. Um, so we'll probably do that in the future, but you know, money's a little tight. So we'll just let it be separated. But once space starts to get a bit more compact, then we'll look into these hybrid buildings to kind of connect everything up. At least that's my idea anyway, or my plan for now. All right, so let's create a new line starting here. We'll go down along here. There's a turn here. Let's maybe let people out just before that. Something that's good to check actually. Yeah, there's a crosswalk right there, I was going to say, so that they have a place to get across. Uh, we'll continue along this way. Put another one right here. There's probably a crosswalk here, I would imagine. Yes. Oh, sorry, that's, not that's a new line. We'll just drag this so we're continuing and then add a stop. Another one here. Um, no, you don't want to have one right there, I don't think. Maybe there? It's a little risky because you're coming right in off the edge, although it has its own road, I suppose. And then another one down maybe here. And then we'll loop this up right across from the metro. Bring it straight up now, right to there. Don't know if we need another one here. So is that too close? So again, there's crosswalks here, and here, and here. And this would allow you access into the commercial area. No problem, really. So that's a good spot, I think. I don't know if we need another one right next to it. That'd be a bit extreme, I think. So we should just be able to loop this around now, and join it together. So we'll just follow this road all the way around. Oh yeah, I suppose, I suppose you could stop somewhere here, let people out by the financial district, yeah? And then we'll just link this. And that's it, it's a long route, but I mean, it's a big road route, so I think that's totally fine. And if we open up our tram line, there it is. So we've got capacity 90. I was thinking of using the bigger ones or one of these. This one just looks cool. There's actually so many different variants. Um, but I just think that one looks kind of cool. We'll keep the line purple, no big deal. And we'll just call the tram line one, that's fine. So how many of these are gonna roll out? Eight, wow. Let's just bring it down in the beginning. See if we need more. Six, I think is plenty. All right, we've done it. Now, one other thing I wanna do with this, we'll make another route in a moment. But just before we go any further, let's destroy or remove that traffic light. So I'm going to say stop the light, remove the traffic light, remove that traffic light. Actually, that one could probably go there, but I'm going to change this road. I want to make it one way. There's a lot of cars that are coming along this way and piling up trying to get in. And then there's a lot coming out. There's obviously a lot of people crossing each way. So I thought a good idea would be to make this a one-way road all the way through. Just this one. And then as well, what we could do is make it with a tram track um, in future and maybe link this area straight through 
over to like this area and that could maybe join on as well. So we'll just wait till we get a bit more money before I do that, but that's kind of the idea. But we can make it one way at least for now. So we'll make it select one way roads, keep the trees. Is that what we want? Yeah, trees on either side, not through the middle. And just flip the direction of that. Alright, and just use anarchy for this bit, I guess. Alright, cool. So hopefully that'll just ease traffic slightly. And it looks like the road markings are saying, yeah, if you're in the left lane, you're going left. In the right lane, you're going right. So that's fine by me. Now, initially there was a crossing here, so I think it'd be nice to add that back in. There we go. It's a oh, it's perfect. Right down between there. Okay, cool. Ah, one other thing. We'll just let time play when I do all this stuff. Why not? So another bit of feedback we got from the previous episode was dealing with hotels. So our hotels... So basically, I've learned a little bit more about hotels. Effectively, in the hotels section of the parks, we have three available right now. We don't have the others available yet because we have to build up our profit. Now, what I've realized is different hotels, actually, if you can see on the tooltip, underneath the star rating, we have the little infographic thing with, um, you know, sightseeing, nature, business, and commerce. And that's different depending on the different hotel, which is obviously, it's fairly obvious. I just didn't really think about it. But even like this rental cabin, it only has a demand for nature and sightseeing. It has no demand. Building one of these next to a business is not going to do anything for it. So I've been positioning these just kind of almost in random spots. I mean, I've been looking at the heat map, but mostly of just one thing. When really, these guys have a demand, an even demand for commerce and business. So we're going to move a few of them. If I move this one here, we should have a better... And in between, we're in between offices and business. So hopefully, maybe we'll get a bit higher ticket prices there. Also going to change out this road and move it slightly. Because people have said that this, the official park, would look better in front of the stock market. And I generally agree. The only thing I don't like is the fact that it's a little short, obviously, of the road. So it leaves a bit of an open gap at the back. But we could put in those panda statues or whatever we showed. Pandas and oxes, I think. Uh, just to fill out the back a bit later. So I guess we could do that. So that's going to be fine. Now let's put that road back in, but put it up to the side maybe this time now. So just use something like this. And that's the edge of that building. So we'll go to the, about there. Uh, we don't need it to be one way. Is that one way? No. There we go. All right, so directly implementing your feedback and I think it's right like it does look much better that way and obviously when this building upgrades further I'm assuming it changes and gets taller probably looks way better I really don't like this look this thing just sitting on top it looked really cool before now it looks a bit weird uh, but when we make another hundred grand I guess it'll level up and we could change it um, so the very last thing then would be to do with our parks and our hotels not to do a park sorry just mostly hotels is since learning that it needs some offices around it, let's zone a few office spaces, but zone them small. And hopefully we have enough workers then to fill these smaller ones. Of course, using big zones, like a 4x4, which is, I think, as big as it gets, um, you get a lot of requirement. Now, it's a bit random. We might get a tall building even in a 3x3, three, three three, in which case maybe we'll just knock it down and rezone it and get a smaller one. Because we're using realistic population, we're looking for kind of a lower density of offices if we can at least here in the beginning. So that's where one of our hotels is. There's another hotel right here. So again, we're going to replace this business with a office, an office, uh, right in the commercial center. And that makes sense. I mean, you can set up accountants and all sorts of little offices that would make sense in these places. We've got another office building right here. So again, just right next to it, build a little office, see how it goes. Another one is out this way in our Franklin Heights district. This place really needs to be kind of leveled in terms of like, I need to balance the terrain. This road is basically sunken in now. This is raised. So this area here is all like a valley. So at some point, it'd be nice to raise this whole thing. But it does mean all the businesses have to be, like, destroyed basically in the process. <laughs> so it could be a bit of a shock to the economy if we do that. Uh, but anyways, let's see. Again, just maybe removing maybe even just a very small little 2 by 2 right there. And see if we can set up a little office just across from the hotel. And see if that kind of helps out. Alright, so just before we even do that, we can check how our hotels are doing. So we have five. So that was... That's that one's done. This is the one just across from the stock market. This is the one that we just had a look at on the hill. This is the one across from our park. And where is this one? 
Oh, it's just deep in there as well. Okay, yeah, so we've kind of sorted every one of them out now. All right, well, let time play, finally. And we'll see how we get on. So our, our trams should start rolling out. Actually, we need to give them power, don't we? All right, there's power and water, I assume. All right, we should see that. There we go. The first one's rolling out. And one of the ideas with this thing is that it should just generally free up a lot of the crossings that we have, right? Because a lot of the buildup of traffic here was from so many people that are crossing over. And I'm hoping that as we build tram stops along this way, it'll just take people straight through via the traffic light rather than waiting through to go through the crosswalks. At least somewhat. We'll see how that goes. Now, we have just changed these roads. I wonder, do we need to respect them for speed? I think I had them at 60 anyway, didn't I? Yeah. And there's no parking allowed on them now, so there's no point removing parking ourselves. They can't allow parking anyway. Oh, something else I noticed was that this area... Not only is it sunken in, but people don't walk from here to there. These are actually like separated roads. But what we can do is just quickly create like a little joining pathway. And then it should kind of work. Because they'll at least logically have somewhere to connect the two. So it's a bit it, it weird, but I'm just going to go with anarchy and connect like a little path across there. I won't even really notice it. And then again, another one like here. And a little street light gets put down so we know that that's basically working. Okay. Hopefully that kind of works for us. All right, turn off anarchy. Hopefully that we start to see some people just naturally walking between the two rather than taking such a long route to get all the way around to go in. All right, three passengers already. Some people are at the uh, office district. And this place is looking good. Hey, we just hit Grand City. Nice, population of 20K. We now can get our third loan. We can also get a solar power plant, bus, train, tram, hub. There you go. Oh, well, actually, no, it doesn't have a metro. So metro, train, monorail, tram. Oh, that's really close as well. It has the metro, it has the tram, but it doesn't have the bus. I'm sure one of them does. And then bus to metro hub we've just unlocked as well, which I actually thought we already had. Copper Bowl, intercity bus terminal, which again, isn't that what we have? Isn't that exactly what we have? Anyway, waste processing complex and waste transfer. So waste transfer, as far as I understand, I was reading about it a little bit before in anticipation of getting one, is that it basically is a place to go pick up garbage and dump it that provides no pollution, but it doesn't process the waste. That then gets full, and then when you empty it out, it sends it off to somewhere else. Uh, so because this moved in, we have to give it power. So it's almost like a temporary landfill that doesn't cause pollution. You know, it's like, hey, we're going to collect your garbage from the city, but you're going to have to send it out at some point. Look at this. People are loving it. They are loving it. Our first passengers are on the line. 56 out of 110. And with a connection right across from the metro, I think that's going to be good. Hey, what's the... Oh. The employment percentage needs to be reset. Yeah, pretty good, actually. So what do we have for employment? Still 9%. Someone using the bike lane there. Love to see it. And I don't think we need to stop at this area. So let's take away the traffic light there. Must have just gotten put in when we updated some of the roads, I would assume. No, oh, we look good otherwise. All right, we'll just speed up time. I'm just curious to see this do its full journey, see what's kind of on the route. Obviously, we can check it this way. 106 people waiting in a certain place. And we got stops all the way down at the very end then. So yeah, it has a huge distance to cover as it, I guess, loops all the way back around. 128, so that's going to be, yeah, just outside the metro. That's kind of expected. And as we're doing our first journeys around now, it'll take a while for us to flush out all the people and uh, get them to where they need to go for the first time. So just while it's nighttime, we're going to build a car park, multi-story car park next to the shopping center. It kind of makes sense to me. And we'll change that to, yeah, variation two. Nice. We took it in a bit. Cool. And then what we can also say is, well, if you got a big multi-story car park, 
it's kind of strange to have parking on the sides then, isn't it? So let's get rid of that. I feel like it wouldn't be allowed, there'd be a line or something of that nature. Plus, we'll probably upgrade this road to not allow that anyway in future. We'll have trams running on it. 155,000. Generic industry. Let's check our shares just really quickly. How are we doing? Well, we've taken a, a bit of a hit. <laughs> but that's okay. It'll come back. Hold. Gotta hold the line. All right. So let's pave in. Pave in? Let's zone some new peeps coming into our city. And they're going to need their own school up this way too. We should get that down soon because it'll obviously pay off in the long term. So let's just zone all of this as residential. Our big sea view area. Now what I was thinking is somewhere along here could put down a new elementary school. So we have our elementary school over there. Another one here gives pretty good coverage of this entire area. So something like this. I might move it in future uh, because I feel like we'll build out a little campus ground around it as well. Maybe a little football pitch, something like that. But for now, we'll just leave it as is. Let people get to it that way. Awkward one to get to, I suppose, because they have to cross over. But yeah, we'll leave it where it is. And they're going to love being across from the school. Uh, the high school is only at... Four, it's at half capacity, so I'm kind of tempted just to leave it where it is and let it do its thing. But I do imagine you probably need another one. And maybe just adding another one right next to it would look kind of cool. It might like make it look like it's a bigger building or something. Especially if we merge them into each other a little bit. Just for the creative look at that. I wonder when the city is going to build more anchor hotels. There's surely more tourists than accommodation for them. Is it, are they doing well? I haven't looked at the office spaces yet. Oh yeah, look, one of our little office buildings has popped up. So there's 42 workers here. You know what? Just before that upgrades, let's mark it as historical. And that way it's not going to visually upgrade, therefore it won't allow for more people. So that's a perfect size for me. Don't want to change that. These guys don't really seem to care about it too much. It might have to fill up with more jobs for us. That could be why. Well, hey, we've turned a profit on several of these. Oh, dude, we've just um, leveled it up. It hit 1,000. So do we've got more now? Hey, yeah, we do. I'll have to look through these. With small hotel now, with good commercial demand... An odd inn. A small down-home inn that provides beds and a bed breakfast. Nice. Hey, that's really cool. Shopping, nature, and aesthetics. Or, and sorry, um, landmarks. Good place to put that, I think, will be over at our Rosewood Park, just nearby. Oh, wow, it's huge. It's actually really big. I would get rid of a park here and just put this down. <laughs> so then they'd have a park next to them, the little car park at the back, and access to the big park next to all the commerce. That's a good spot for that. What about this one? Roadside Motel. The Roadside Motel offers affordable rooms with adjoined parking spaces. The motel is perfect for all visitors passing by. Again, commerce, a little bit of landmark, a little bit of everything on that one. Two star. And then we need to get a profitability of 500. 5,000. Wow. Oh, wow. You need a lot of hotels. That's fine. I'd like this DLC. This is a good one. I think so, anyway. Hotels and retreats. I like the progression. Cool. And the fact that the hotels have different needs and stuff. Alright, we'll just leave time playing. It looks like we've maybe cleared up a lot of the traffic here, although it is nighttime. 84% again. You know what? While it's actually dark and it's nighttime, I wanna do I wanna correct the metro line here, and I have to fix something over here, right? These guys have a bit too much noise pollution. So unfortunately we're gonna say see you later to these two houses. And I have to go underground, so Yeah, there we go. Trying to remember what I was playing. Oh yeah, yeah, I know what I was doing. So let's get rid of this, this, and this, and this, and that. So I want to bring this line straight. It's just a little OCD thing of mine where I just like it to be a straight line, and I wasn't entirely happy with it when I did it before. So let's just go deep underground again, if we can. Right, and we'll select our straight line. I'll just go. S Are we on a grid? There we go. Just go straight, pretty much all the way out to that point. Maybe just before it. About there. And I think that just looks a bit better. Very small bend. As you are slowing down for the station anyway. So it just looks a little bit better that way. But something that we're going to have to do is change this area. Ever so slightly. Because this needs to move ever so slightly to the edge. Because it, 
it just has a little bit of extra noise pollution here and f doing this frees us up to add in something around these sides here. God, it is noisy in this place. <laughs> so what I was thinking is we could do something like just even like a park trail with decorations and that helps noise pollution, I think. I don't know if it does for a park street like this, but I'm hoping it does. Park path with decorations. We just go in like this, come down like that. Maybe... Oh my god, it is so loud. <laughs> Let's see what everyone complains about. Yeah, so just bring this all the way right to the edge. Okay, and uh, I'm not too sure what I could put in there, but something. Like, obviously trees is the go-to, just even hand-placed trees. God, that was so loud in there. Maybe even just these small little ones could be nice. I mean, these are basically what's here anyway, but if you've got ideas, let me know. I could remove that. If this doesn't work out, we still have noise pollution. Maybe just add in some 2x2, two two, like little stalls and things. That could be okay. All right, uh, so yeah, we need to obviously fix that line then. So let's go back like this, go underground. Ah, we need to reconnect it also. What the hell just happened? Okay. Is that 16 under the ground? No, 12. It is? Wow, 16. That seems deeper than it's supposed to be. I guess it says it declines down. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, and then we just need to join this back up as well. So maybe just cut this bit. And we'll see if we can make a new curve. I would say maybe come out this way. And then bring that down. That looks a bit more natural. Just a little bit. Alright, cool. So there we go. So now let's just fix that line. Reconnect it. Uh, I think if we just grab one of the stops, it'll just auto-reconnect seems okay is this still on yeah all right we're good no harm done maybe that will reduce the noise pollution people had mentioned that that's why people were getting sick there because they were just really close to the metro line some of these buildings are really cool how many people live in this 55 households wow what's the biggest one this one looks pretty big 64 jeez 104 74 highly educated that's good we're getting a lot of more highly educated people good to see Alright, it's morning time. Sunrise. Morning commute is beginning. Let's see how our line is doing. We've got 100 people waiting outside the public library. And then we have 200 people waiting outside the metro stop. 38 people on the opposite side. Not many on some of the other stops, but obviously those are great points to get off at. Alright, we'll just speed up time. And I'll have a look while we just let time play. I was going to say, I'll just quickly have a look over my little to-do list and see if I missed anything. So, the metro redesign. Oh, yeah, we have to put some extra stuff in our park because it's ready to level up. We've done the hotels. Oh, people asked me to add in more banks as well, so I might do that. And then we have to add in a bus route up here as well. Man, where is, the, where is that goddamn metro? Maybe we do need more. How many are on this? 110 people. I'm sure a lot of people are getting off to go downstairs, even though they're <laughs> they're doing that thing where they keep flying in the air for some reason. Can I just fix that real quick? Sometimes if you just nudge it ever so slightly, it tends to redraw and recalculate and people work on it just fine. Oh, yeah, they're still doing it. They're hopping over stuff for some reason. I don't know why they're doing that. It looks so silly. They did it before this stop was here, by the way, so don't say it's that. Because it ain't. And what is this? What am I selecting here? What is this? <laughs> it's not the something underground, is it? I have no idea what that's supposed to be, but it's giant. Uh, let's go underground and see. It's not the rail station itself, is it? No. Well, I'm going to do something wild here. Whatever this is, I'm just going to delete it. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I 
people going using this a bit more orderly now? Yeah, it's a bit better. Right, so up to 100 people again. So that does free up a lot, but there's obviously people mounting here. There's a lot of people building up here. Oh, this bus is taking a lot, or tra tram is taking a long time to move. There we go. Be curious to see how many people get out here. Everybody. Wow, 110 people, just like that. And do they take my little walkway across? Yeah, some of them do. It's a little bit of a confusing path for them, but they're using it. All right, cool. Well, it's good to observe what's going on. That's such a small distance. They're like, yep, I'll get on here and just take me right there. <laughs> that does seem to be the consistent theme with my playthrough is people are willing to... Thousands of people are willing to just go one, one block, basically, if they can. Now, do we have... We don't even have traffic lights in these places, no. We're thinning it out, though, which is good. I like to see that. And this seems to have worked, kind of. It's helping for sure. Uh, something that I meant to do here, actually, though, was change the limitations on this road. We no, don't really need to limit who can go on this anymore. Because if they need to turn, they need to use these other lanes. That should be fine. All right, let's check our stocks again, just real quick. Hey, we made a profit. We're almost at peak value. But I'm going to keep holding. I reckon we can get more out of it. It's good to see, though. 8,000 gain. Um, okay, so yeah, I wanted to upgrade the park. Let's do that. And then maybe we can place in more banks, which should give us more commercial income. So if we have a look at the park, real quick, Rosewood. The size is 6,000 cells. Total visitors until the next one is 5,000. Entertainment until the next one is 720. So we're just lacking a little bit of entertainment for this park. Uh, so let's have a look. City Park. So we've unlocked the gazebo. Which I was planning on sticking them up on top. Somewhere up here. That's where our little binoculars are, actually. So let's just... I'll move those binoculars first. Alright. Gazebo number one. Gazebo number two. I don't know if that's crazy having two different ones there. Ah, so this is like a bi-directional one. Okay, so let's actually move this. I'll put this somewhere else. Down there is fine. But this one having just an entrance looks good. Ah, oh, they need power and stuff. Interesting. So power is creeping in from here, but you don't want to be building giant power lines. That can look really ugly. Uh, let's turn on tree anarchy, and I'm going to move this flame tree further in to the spot where I wanted it to be initially. going to move this further back. And these can move forward now as well. Nice. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, I don't know. What else can we build that can maybe extend electric? Oh, I know. If we have a park info booth or whatever around this way, or just even a, you know, a pit stop, toilets, bathrooms, that kind of thing. So the info booth, another info booth, as it is an entrance, a fairly populated entrance, I would say, on this side. Stick that there. Again, maybe the restrooms can kind of latch onto that a bit. The chessboard, a bit of a weird one, but could be kind of fun to have here. A little bit of a strange one, I guess. Uh, it looks a bit odd. Let's get rid of that. It's a, I feel like it's a fun thing to have, but maybe it would just be more suited somewhere out in this direction, or we could populate out this way with something a bit different. It's really raised. I don't know why that is. Can we sink it down a bit? Whoa. <laughs> uh, yeah. I guess just because the land raises out the back of it. All right. So I should add some entertainment. Now, power is, still hasn't really pushed in much further. They have linked these two, and that's linked. Okay, they're okay now, actually. It's just linked. Yeah, they've come online. Excellent. Good. No need for giant power cables ruining the look and feel of the place. Little gazebo on top. So what else? We have the fishing jetty. Or not, it's not fishing. It's just a pier. Um, yeah, let's add these in. I was thinking just somewhere out this way. So I might shape this in future to look a little nicer. But just even just one here. Maybe the other variant, the smaller one, can come in off the rocks on this side. 
Alright, and then they kind of need their own little path. Now, does the nature trail work? Some people were a little divided about whether or not it would. Let's find out. Let's turn off, let's turn it onto that. Turn off the grid. Just bend this in this way. Forward, but then around. So I feel like if that wasn't a nature trail, that would be close enough. Let's find out. We'll upgrade it. No, maybe not. You don't need to actually connect, see? That would be pretty psycho. So that does get rid of it. About there, okay. Let's make it a nice curve. Now there's little canoes and things that people can play around with there. And there's little deck chairs <laughs> to sit out and just watch the water, I guess, or whatever. Well, not deck chairs. They're just like foldable chairs. So this would be the kind of thing that if I was on a stream, we could just play around with this for, for so long. <laughs> and ideally, this will just loop around and reconnect or something. But we'll just leave it for now. All right. So power. So to connect power to here to there. What else could we use that would maybe extend it naturally without us having to make the place look ugly? None of these will connect power except for just the buildings themselves like this. Could stick a gazebo in there, I suppose. Why the hell not? That should reach out, I think. Uh, let's move it slightly. Okay, so that's going to add power. Yes, that'll connect us up. Nice. All right, so we just need to do the same really quickly over on this side. And uh, just bring this out somewhere. So just grab a regular trail. Oh, yeah, it would be nice to make it a nature trail, like I said. Nature reserve path. So let's try that. Just upgrade this one really quick. I just think it looks nice. And I think it looks nice using both. And hopefully they use it. I think they will. Okay, and then maybe just finally move this in a bit further. Connect it like right around there, and we'll just sink it down. About there, and we can always raise the water a little bit in the lake. I don't mind doing that, because these do seem like they... You could actually build Quayside or something, and I do plan on doing Quayside in certain other places. Again, I'm making a lot of use of these gazebos, but I think a good one, it would make sense to put one here. And you don't actually need to hook this up to the road. So if we do it like that, and we get rid of the tree here. Let me just stick it in somewhere there. Now we've got this, you can go in kind of both ways. Kind of just connects out. So I'm happy with that. Cool. All right, that should extend electricity as well. And hopefully that provides enough entertainment value now for our park. Yeah, 900 over 720. So it's just a matter of time. And we can maybe bump up that ticket price just by one sim dollar, whatever they're called. <laughs> Although we are wildly profitable already. So we don't have to be too greedy. Yet. Ah, my bad. I forgot to give you guys proper water services. Nice to see people moving in, though. Growing the population. And increasing demand of everything, no doubt. So we have our commercial area over here. I was thinking of making another sort of commerce area here. Also bringing a, I wanted to make a nature trail go up the hill and have like a cabin and stuff up here. So I feel like that'd be really fun to do. Again, not to put everything off onto streams or something, but that again would just be one of those things that's kind of finicky. It could take a lot of shaping, a lot of time, either a time lapse in the video or in a stream. I think that would be a good, good shout for that. All right, so our demand is pretty good for industry. How's, oh, unemployment's risen though since it's actually rising <laughs> and that's because probably we have a lot of new people moving in so they're probably looking for lower tier jobs while they wait for the generations to pass and become more educated don't mind adding in maybe a little bit more jobs down this way actually maybe we should just grow the old industry rather than add regular jobs so what do we need we have the appropriate amount of workers. We're actually really close to hitting the next tier. And I know that if we want to open the stock market, we need lots more oil drills. 
So maybe we could do that. And that opens up some new jobs to us as well. So let's do that. So let's grab this little street. Let's do freeform. This is all shoreline territory, or it will be, because there is oil all along here. So you're going to have to drive pretty far, I guess, but hopefully it's not too bad. I'm not really too sure. We'll just test it out, I guess. All right, so let's put some of these drills down. Let's put this on this side. There we go. It's really hard to see the road. <laughs> Twelve thousand for each one. These aren't cheap. Now, as you can see, a lot of the oil is going away, and I'd mentioned that we'll probably—I haven't still haven't done it—but we'll probably do that. It's not even a mod; it's just an in-game thing, an option that they added where you can make resources infinite. So I'll probably do that, and we'll reshape where the oil is going to be and restructure it a bit. But just for now, I think it's fine just to use what we have, play it to the mechanics as they are, and then, given it a little bit of time, we'll we'll change it around. And uh, so it's it's more like permanent. All right, there you go. It's a lot of new oil drills. What a great city. I think I'm dreaming if I didn't know otherwise. What's crashing? Death care service is crashing. Hmm. Don't tempt me. <laughs> uh, it's already come back from its crash. How are we doing now? 14,000. So we had a massive dip and then we're coming back up. So we still gained. We're still gaining. We're on a nice upward trajectory of this. This farming industry is probably just going to crash again. So let's just sell now. Get out with that little bit of profit. It's not much. But until I actually invest in the farming industry, I feel like we're, there's no point. Like, I mean, literally investing in building up the infrastructure of it. Because it can go bigger. Um, which I'm not going to do just yet. But soon enough, we could probably add on a little bit more and then change out. Oh, yeah. Especially if we expand into this tile. Then this place is going to become huge. All right, time is playing again. We still have some noise pollution problems spilling over. But the places next door don't seem to be too immediately upset. All right, what's our traffic flow? Let's have a look. Ooh, 80%. So what's the problem? People waiting at the roundabout. Using both lanes, though. Dangerous merging going on. Holy crap. It's always the little sports cars. It's the BMW drivers. Nice, okay. Yeah, it's free-flowing. Nothing's gridlocked. Here is really, really, really busy. Cars kind of do get gridlocked here, because as they stop to pull into these various silos, they block everyone else from doing the same thing. Which is why I'm tempted to get rid of these silos and just really just focus on having these big ones here that people work with. But it depends. You might need more trucks, otherwise things won't get serviced correctly. Uh, yeah, so we haven't checked this industry in a while. I'm just curious. So what, what are we in need of? 1,026 out of 1,120. So we're missing 100 workers, and it's mostly from that mid-tier educated tier. Oh my god. All the cows trapped inside. Smoky. Oh yeah, we have our helicopter here. Hells yeah. Nice. Good job. Cool. We actually haven't seen them being used yet. Be nice to maybe follow this guy back. I hope people don't mind. Just be fun. I'll speed it up to times two, not times three. So just speed it up a little bit as we go back. Fly over our city. It's cool. They actually do go out to like the rivers to pick up the water, and then they go to their destination. But I've se one thing I've seen that they do. Oh, nice. This. Hang on. That building has just grown. The Madison residence. Be interested to see how big it gets. Um. One thing I've seen that they do is by the time they fill up water, the fire's already been put out by someone else. But obviously the idea of these guys is that they can go reach the fires that have been spreading amongst the, the forests. 64 households. Yeah, it's going big. And there, I'll do a nice tactical gameplay. See, I used to work in games marketing, so I'll just... You don't necessarily see them land. You go, oh, okay, and then you, you look away. Rather than see them disappear like this. <laughs> 
All right. 21,000. Pretty good. Long ways off. 32, though. The capital city. And that gives us our university campus area. Did we not have this before? I just assumed we did. Because tons of people were telling me to build them. Trade school, campus area, liberal arts. Yeah, I don't think we actually do. Because I don't think I was able to create a camp... Am I able to create one? I don't think so. Oh, I feel less bad about not doing it now. But the idea was to create a bigger campus area out this way in the future. And have competing universities. 17,000. Looking good. We do not sell until we get to 3,500 3, share value, okay? If anything, I would still be keen to buy more. That's that's how... Can we buy more? Yeah, you know it. That's how bullish I am on this price. I have a lot of investment in there. All right, let's check in on our metro. Let's see how we're doing. Yeah, not bad. 130 people waiting, no doubt, over just across the street. That's not, not a big problem. How much have we got on this? So 40 out of 110, 17, 8, 37, 1. I think the amount I've gone with, 6, is a good number. Underneath, let's check how we're doing with the lines. Yeah, a couple hundred waiting, but we have capacity of 450 on each of these now. So these things are flying along just fine. Hopefully nice and smooth, nice and quick. Okay, let's um add in these banks. That was another thing that I th thought about doing for this episode. So it says that banks basically, they help commercial areas. Comes with a small fleet of cash transport vans that collect money and reduce the crime rate in commercial zones. People are saying like, oh, why don't you add them in residential zones? But they, they really just affect your com commerce areas. So we can actually see on the map where our commercial zones are. So I think a good place for a bank would be somewhere in here. I was actually thinking this little corner right there would be good, although we'll be destroying jobs to do so. Which I think is just going to be inevitable unless we expand out. I mean, I suppose maybe not a bad idea to remove just one home to add in a bank across the way, but a little strange having it next to the residential streets. What about here? Two businesses will be shifted. No matter where I go, we're going to destroy two businesses. Definitely, I'm not going on the outskirts. It'll have to be on the in the inskirts, <laughs> the inside. Yeah, I'm just going to go with the edge. I just think it makes sense here. So we're going to lose two businesses. Just out of curiosity, what was here? 18 workers, 10 workers. I guess it's not that bad. And the businesses love it. They're happy. Local bank. All right, we'll just let time play while we place these in. It's no big deal. We'll add another one in maybe over in this area. Hmm. It's not that big of an area. Maybe I'll leave that for now. This one, though, could do with having one, I think. Yeah, next to the police station, maybe on the side here. Place occupied. I'll just anarchy that for a second. Pop that in. It does fit, but I don't want to cheat too much. <laughs> uh, let's just move this down a bit. Looks really weird. I kind of wanted to make another node there. Let's see if I can do that in a second. How are we for space? Space is okay, actually. Oh, we can move this over then. Just a little bit. Maybe it's not that weird, actually. Yeah, that's all right. And that means we can now move the police station just slightly over. Okay. So now everything's still sized up appropriately. Okay, there we go. Whoops. So we just want to turn off the zoning. There we go. So that's three banks in total. So we'll see those start to roll out their cars, their cash vans collecting from the areas immediately around us. What about post, actually? That was something... Yeah, we had a post office. Is that part of education? I can never really remember where post goes. Yeah, oh, it's an industry. Yes. All right, so that's our postal coverage right now. It's strange. We just have these random pockets where it's low. That is weird. I feel like that's weird. I kind of understand. It's like at the end of cul-de-sacs, it seems to be where they don't go. I suppose it's because they collect as they drive by. 
I think that's why. Yeah. Okay, so they're, they're not going down the little cul-de-sacs. That's funny. Yeah, that's fair enough. These guys are all totally sorted as well. No pun intended. So yeah, they're fine. All right. Let's continue to throw a bunch of problems our way by just stacking up more and more high-density residential in our new Seaview estate. And uh, we can maybe just get rid of that bit there. They don't... Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, tree anarchy's on still. Whoops. Uh, well, that's okay. We can get rid of these trees. So basically, just go into our selection tool, turn off everything except for trees, and we'll just remove them. Alright. It's a lot of trees. It's not the ones that are on the roads or anything. It's just the ones that are supposed to be covered by buildings and stuff. All right, good. That should help. It's going to be a lot of people moving in, so it's a bigger demand on this area. It's going to be a lot more people for jobs, though, and I'd like to maybe increase the density of some of these places further. So these were left low density. We can maybe make them high density now. Let's see if we can handle it. So it's going to be 16 workers gone. 59. That's a that's a rough one to lose, but hopefully it'll be made up. Oh, cool. A oh, camper van just stuck outside uh, organic foods. Crematorium. Oh, yeah. I forgot it's still out here. Next to the firehouse, the small bank. Would the bank have fit in there? It actually wouldn't. Okay, fair enough. Little post office, police station. We have one of our hotels. This hotel is Loving Life. Uh, I would say, actually, we can raise the pricing of these hotels. This hotel is... Is this the one? 94%. It's super efficient. Go all the way up with that one, I'd say. Budget hotel. If that's 60%, I'd say raise it to about maybe 21, 22. It's just this one that should be cheap, I think, because it's uh, not doing so hot. Why is it? It doesn't have any business, and we let a business get set up next to it. All right, 21, 22. That should increase our profitability a bit, I would assume. And then we can get some of those new hotels. I want to look around with them first before we place any in uh, in the next episode. Uh, something we could do, now it's in the dead of night, is just have a look at these little offices that have set up. So that's organic foods. It was here, wasn't it? We're here. Oh, no, there it is. 44 workers. Wow. Let's just leave it like that. We don't want it to go any bigger than this. It's already arguably a little too big. So then, this is Franklin Heights. If we head back over towards Rosewood Park, we at What the hell was that? Oh my god, I thought it was a terrorist attack. <laughs> it's fireworks. Why do we have fireworks? Even more fun. Amusement park buildings are maintained super well, causing them to be even more fun than normally. Boost entertainment by 20%. Cost 10 per building in the... Ah, no, that's fine. Night tours? Celebrate. Yeah, I thought this might be on. Fireworks show in the park every night. Well, apparently it's kicking off anyway. Is it New Year's? No, it's February. A <laughs> fine for fireworks. The park area will not organize fireworks while the policy is active. Ah, it's totally fine, I guess, but it's just strange. Main park. If you have the several parks with this policy active, they are equally attractive to visitors. Well, this is our main park. It doesn't really change anything. Advertisement campaign. That's 200 a week. That's too much. Nighttime tours, though. Visitors can see the park at night on special tours. Yeah, sure, do it. Anyway, that's kind of loud for the uh, the old hotels there. And this busy corner shop. Let's get rid of that and just dezone that area. Something else might have to go in there in future. So is this another office block? Financial news. 102 workers. Uh, let this upgrade. It might go smaller. It's a 3x3. Three three. Yeah, I'll let that one upgrade. I'd like to get something smaller than that. 102 is kind of heavy. Nice to see that it worked, though. We could set up another office block over here. I'm going to do 4x4 four four again and just hope that we can maintain it. be nice to get one that just looks just like this so that they even out. We've marked this as historical as well right now.
All right, so rather than dilly-dallying any further, let's just do one last thing, which is add in a metro to go straight down the line here, like I'd said. So what we'll need for that is public transport line on a single road. We need this one, is it? Two-lane trolley bus. Nope. Oh, I was already scrolled forward. That's probably why. Two-lane road with tram tracks. A medium tram tracks and bike lanes. That's the one. All right, upgrade. Oh, yeah, you can't make this one way. Can you? I don't know. I guess probably not. I th kind of thought with... Tram tracks, two-lane, one-way road with tram tracks. I can make it one way here. Just to make the... Yeah, I guess we'll have to do that. Oh, it's a shame that we can't have a two-lane, one-way road with nice, like, grass either side, you know? We have that, but it has to go both ways. Two-lane road with trolleybus wires and... Yeah, but it's two-lane. Damn. If anyone knows, let me know if there's a way to do that. So we have to select this. We've only got three options with public transport roads, it seems. So these are the three. That's okay, you know. I'd, But I'd just rather keep that consistency if we could have. Don't think the tram should roll by here, should it? Oh, yeah, why not? And then grab this. Upgrade. Okay, I know it's a bit dark. But basically what we've done is we've added tram lines all along here. So this is a two-lane road, so that's fine. Or sorry, a, a bi-directional road, and this is a one-way road still. And the direction is still the same. Okay, cool. So now we can just set up a new train tram line. I'm going to start it... Um, Well, I guess we'll start it right here at the university. We'll get to this point, come back down and around. We'll merge it onto the stuff that we already have, which is here. Actually, maybe one across from that stop might be a good idea. Merge it with this one as well. And then we cut in. Get to the high school and go all the way up over that way. Okay, so it's just like a little loop, basically, and then it just crosses over with some of our certain points. Now, this tram line, I assume, would have a lot less on it. Four. Let's bring it down to three. Because they're capa- Oh, yeah, we haven't actually dedicated its capacity yet, so... We'll do it the same. I like these ones. These look cool to me. All right. Let's see how that goes. So new tram lines, new little road infrastructure. We'll turn off anarchy now for a second. Let's just see... The traffic lights... Are they in position here anymore? It's hard to see. Yeah, they, uh, no, they're not. Let's give it traffic lights now. 40 is the speed limit. That's okay. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how traffic is, seems to have gotten much better in this area. Seems to. 79 traffic flow. We're dipping overall, but I think it's because of... Oh, yeah. Whoa. So there's your problem. I'll have to figure that out. That's so out of my hands, though. It's out of the border. I know it's coming into, like, a highway, but... Or into a roundabout, but I'm not really too sure what I can do about that. It seems like... this These guys are getting priority. Maybe I could merge them onto a road that goes onto the roundabout together or something. Yeah, I might have to do that. If this merged onto a two-lane road and it was going forward, then we could separate the two lanes that both hit the roundabout at the same time. Because, yeah, that's an issue. I'm surprised we didn't have that issue sooner. I, I know what the issue is, though. It's The reason it's happening now is because people are moving into the city for the first time. And for them, because they're moving into these places. So when you set up new buildings, you'll see all these cars coming into your city. And you'll, they'll look different. They'll have, like, little trailers attached to them and stuff a lot of the time. Or there'll be camper vans, that kind of thing. And they'll say, like, going home or moving in. Um, University student driving home. There's no reason he would have ever been off the map. So that's definitely like just someone moving in, I would imagine. And then if we don't zone anything for a while, this will clear itself up. But obviously, it would be nice to sort that problem before it really happens. Now, what also happens is people will come in via the intercity bus station. And I forgot to do it this episode, but I meant to actually... So we'll see people, eight people are coming in now from the intercity bus. I meant to set up um, a bus route here. 
want a bus route to kind of go along and out and around this uh, arterial road. So I'll have to do that generalized line. And they'll just roll behind the trams. It's just nice having both. And then they can kind of link into all these different places. Holy crap, there's so many people. I think it would make sense to have a car park there because they seem to just invent cars as soon as they get out here. And it's a bit weird having it in the middle of the city like this, but I don't know. I feel like this needs to be moved down, that needs to be moved down, then buildings would need to go along here. That's probably what's got to happen. But I'll think about it. What is going on with this? Tr what are you doing? I was just wondering why he was taking the um, the bus lane. Why not just get onto a regular lane? You can take a left turn from here. You should never be doing that kind of thing. Well, really, I suppose if you're in this lane, don't go into that one. If you're in this lane, you can go into either, right? Oh, this is so messed up. I'll have to change this all. <laughs> the way these are cutting across each other. I know that this is a problem when I set it up initially. Although I've just... Yeah, yeah. I'll have to think about it. But anyway, it's fine. Whatever. I'll sort it out later. A lot of people... Yeah, if you're turning right, you can use the bus lane, right? We, we established that that's kind of what has to happen. You shouldn't be cutting off uh, people. So what would have to happen is, like, yeah, if you're in that lane, you're turning right, you'll have to stay in that. I mean, that, I guess that kind of works. I don't know. Let's all think about it. Ultimately, this needs to be available to pedestrians so they can pull into these shops. I wonder, do many people... Oh, nice. Yeah, we're seeing university students pulling up. Ready to get the tram here. That's good to see. Huge amount of people getting out here. This is a very popular area, not just for the university, but just for the surrounding amenities. So, yeah. All right. We'll have to leave it there. Let's see. Did we make any bank on gasoline? Let's come down a bit. Oh, it did go over 3600. I said we'd sell at 35. Damn, I missed it, though. I missed my window. It's difficult to keep track of it. You know, you just have to keep checking in. But it's all right. Our money is still there. It hasn't gone away. We're still up. We're 5,000 up overall. All right. I think I'm going to have to leave it there for this episode. So pretty good, right? Our park has gotten all its new amenities. We added banks. We've added the tram service. The tram service seems to be carrying a lot of people around. I think traffic has gotten better generally. Uh, it's just that we have a huge influx of new people. So that's going to clog up things just for a little while until they get to their homes. And then I think things will improve again. I have no doubt. So I think you just need to let time play for a while. Um, I need to sort out maybe some of the rules of the road with regards to the places like this because it's a bit busy. Or a bit messy, I should say. And trams stopping before junctions might not be a good idea because cars that just wanted to take a turn, for instance, are kind of blocked from doing so for a while. Sort of. That's why I feel like if I direct these lanes a little bit better, there's no reason why you couldn't have just gone forward and turned. If you want to go straight, you should be in this lane. If you want to go right, you should be in this lane. I think that would work out better. Sorry to just drag on here for a second, but just let's bear with me. Imagine this. Right, imagine that that's the rule that you have. Let me just cancel this for a second and redo these ones. So coming from this direction, oh yeah, I know what the problem was. So a bus, if you're taking a right, that's totally fine. And I was saying the bus can go forward. People were like, no, that'd be chaos. The bus would have to move over to this lane if you wanted to go forward. Um, which is fair. That's fine. So, And it's not being blocked from doing so. Previously, we hadn't allowed buses on the other lanes, but now we do. So that is allowed. Uh, so yeah, so that's now a way for pedestrian cars to turn that way. And if anything, we would just say that no pedestrian cars could go on that, uh, not this one, this one, as a maybe. It's just as, a, as an example area. So then again, similar situation. If you want to go over there, you're free to do so. If you want to go over here, you're free to do so. If you wanted to go there, you're free as well. Um, if you wanted to take a left, is that crazy? That's pretty crazy. You have to be in that lane if you're taking that left. Okay. So you're taking a left turn, you're going there, going forward, and you're going forward, yeah? Something like that, nice and clean lines. So let's just fast forward time a bit, see if they work this out in a moment. Although some cars are panicking right now, I think. What's going on, dude? Taxi cab. He's inching his way forward. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, now that things have kind of reset, I would hope that this works out pretty well. 
The trams will block people turning for a while, but other than that, I think we're okay now. And ideally, traffic lights, right? This is a busy place. But with those ru rules in place, this should work just fine, I think. Yeah, so people will build up, and then they won't be able to turn because of the trams. It's such a shame the way they drive through them like that. Anyway, I guess we can play around with it for a while. Again, ooh, we've got our high density. Not enough workers. This is a 200 worker building, 84. And what about our office block? Hey, we got the same type of looking kind of building, except it's a different color. And how many people are in it? A bunch. Yeah, let's just make it historic. That's fine. Kind of wish it looked the exact same. That would have been nice. It actually almost looks like... Why is it black? <laughs> it's like it's, got, it's brick, but it's been painted black. It's the dark version, the evil version of that building. All right. All right, we're going to have to leave it there. So thank you very much for watching. Again, keep your feedback coming and what you'd like to see in the future. I'm going to start doing some time lapses now, filling out the rest of these areas, piling on the problems as we look to build towards 3,200 population in total so we can expand this tile and have access to the highway relieving the majority, I would say, of the problems that we get from traffic. All right, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.